How's it going true gamers? In today's video we're going to be looking at loot from 100 crystal implings. Now before we open all these up, let's talk about them real quick. Crystal implings require level 80 hunter to catch which can be boosted and completion of the Song of the Elves quest which unlocks Priftinus since Priftinus is currently the only place they can spawn. These also spawn one per world and are on a 30 minute spawn cycle. They're the best way to acquire crystal acorns with a 1 in 18 chance of doing so, which can be grown into crystal trees or given to Tangle Root to change his appearance, which is what I think I'll be using one for. They're also the only way to get the Elven Signet with a 1 in 128 chance, which offers a 10% chance to not consume a charge when using crystal equipment. This does exclude the Blade of Saldor and the Bow of Ferdinand though. Well now that you know a bit more about them, let's start opening them up. So I'm just going to do 10 at a time I believe. I think that's going to be the best way to do this. First one elite clue scroll. Let's go. Another elite clue scroll well gonna have to finish the master clue we got from the last one and then make this one into a master before we continue so let's do it there we go let's hand those over get another master boom now we can go back to looting those imps another elite clue well Got to go finish that master we got and then make this into a master before we can continue. Let's do it. Another one. All right, and that's 100 implings looted. So as you can see, from the 100 implings, we made just under 5.3 mil. So not too great, honestly, but still not bad, so about 53k a piece corn and tangle root and make crystal tangle root there we go that looks pretty sweet well we also managed to get three elite clue scrolls along the way too i hope this was helpful and i hope you guys enjoyed the video all right peace out guys